Mad Dolls, and in today's video we'll be unboxing everyone's least favorite doll, Holiday, Howl Holiday, Claudine Wolf. So before we jump into it, make sure you subscribe, follow me on all my other social medias, and check out my whatnot link for $15 off your first purchase. So now, let's jump into it. She's a controversy. She's a controversial queen, but like, it's fine. This is the one I'm gonna be unboxing. This is the one that will be my inbox collection, because she... She's a little rough looking. Um, now, there is variance to this doll. The lipsticks can be different. So somehow, I got both mine from Mattel Creations, or no, Amazon, which I will link her down below. She's on sale, because she's not really selling out. If you'd like to get it, it will be an affiliate link. So this doll has like metallic gold lips, and then that one has chunky glitter lips. I don't know how I was lucky to get both, but yeah, there you go. So here is the front of the box. And of course it says a Monster High Howl-A-Day Winter Edition. Uh, there's Claudine. Uh, here is the back of the box. We've got some stock photos, which I would prefer some hand-drawn artwork, but what do I know? Um, happy holidays with the winter solstice moon glowing bright. Claudine Wolf is ready to slay in an icy <laughs> lavender holiday gown. Howl-A-Day, sorry. Uh, with crescent moons and spiderwebs spun in dazzling gold. A fabulous faux fur keeps the winter chill away while crescent moon accessories, including an elegant golden headpiece, complete her gorgeous look. May the full moon make your holidays scary and bright. Let's unbox. <laughs> Let's see if I like her, if I don't. A lot of people don't like her. I don't know yet. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of holiday dolls and almost all of them have been in controversy, so that's fun. Here we go. Wah. On the back of the box, we've got a certificate of authenticity. So let's rip that out. Here is the certificate. It says a Monster High Holiday Winter Edition. The certified signature Monster High Holiday Winter Edition all materialized through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. Ah. It's like everyone says the same exact thing. And we've also got a disgusting, foul doll stand. This was the first fallen angel. The first victim. Don't even get me started. It's trans- it's garbage. It's garbage! That's what it is! I'd literally pay extra for a regular black monster high doll stand. Please. Ugh. So I will link down below the doll stands that I actually use uh, on Amazon that are a lifesaver. They work on every doll, so they're slay. This isn't even funny. I'm tired. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> it's a waste. It's a waste of plastic because they don't work. They don't do anything. <laughs> now we already have one other like holiday winter doll, which is a Draculaura from last year. And she is one of my all time favorites. She is so beautiful. And I don't think I appreciate ha appreciated uh, how beautiful she was when I got her. She was one of those dolls that grew on me over a while. They got Claudine's feet in here. Snip these out of her brain. So here is Miss Howliday Claudine Wolf all out of the box. I'm kind of living. I'm kind of living. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> She's kind of really pretty. Her hair is like fantastic, fantastic. It is so soft and it's saran. It's saran. It's very curly. So like, I mean, ugh. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so soft. And look at the colors. Look at those colors, girl. Ghoul. Oh, she ate. She ate. I love it. I love it. I love it. And even the one, my inbox um, collection, her hair is even bigger. Her hair is even bigger. It's, uh, I kind of love it. She's really pretty. Mm, she's really pretty. So here she is. Look at that gorgeous crown. She's got this gold crown of all the moon faces going around the top of her head. There's even spikes on it. Of course, I would have loved some painted purple details. It would have been really pretty. It would have been nice. Maybe I'll do it myself, who knows? So she's also got a middle part and then the two bang pieces are pulled back into elastic ponytails with two curly tendrils hanging down, framing her face. She's got on, of course, now this one has the gold metallic lipstick. This one has chunky glitter gold lipstick. So, there's variants, depends on who you get. She's got, of course, purple and gold eyeshadow. There could have been more makeup. There could have been some more going on. Um, like, I would have loved to have seen, like, maybe some, like, glitter snowflakes on her cheek or something, something just a little bit more. Could have been giving more. Um, I also would have loved to have seen painted gold nails. That would have been pretty fierce and iconic in boots, but, like, 
Just saying. So of course uh, the rest of her hair is pulled back into a ponytail on the top of her head for a half up, kind of half down a moment. She has got on a choker necklace. Let me get in through all this hair and fur. Oh my gosh, she can hardly see it. She's got on a black choker necklace that is a bow tie. I think that's cute. It is plastic with a painted gold moon at the center of it. It is being held on also by an elastic that's wrapping around her bate. Gorge. Um, now one of the tendrils is also like attached to her waist. This one's free. This one is not. Uh, I don't know if I'll take it off or not. Probably not. I'm not gonna lie. So she looks really good on display. So on her left wrist, she's got a matching black bow that is made out of plastic like a bracelet that has a gold moon as well painted on it. She also has a matching Oh, it's really itty bitty and thin. This little gold phases of the moon belt that matches her crown. Um, it's not my fave. <laughs> I kind of wish it was like black to match the bow tie and the bracelet a little bit more than it being gold and matching the crown. I'm not gonna lie. So it is being also held on by an elastic. Going around her dress, we've got this white giant fur fluff fuzz. I think maybe this is what I'm not loving with the doll. I wish it was black. I wish it was black. Um, this is who I'm thinking of. You see how much better the black fur looks? This is Ghoul's Rule, uh, Claudine from 2012. The black fur is just better. It's just better and I think it would look a lot more cohesive not gonna lie so we've got this big white fluff fur um it's really cool though how it's on her it's kind of just like a big old circle that you just kind of slip her arms through that's kind of cute it's it's kind of moment so now her dress we've got i here's the tea i love this fabric i love the fabric it's the cut i think that i'm just not loving and i think that's why most people don't love this doll. Um, the fabric itself is gorgeous. We've got this silky purple, smoky marbled fabric that's like really freaking gorgeous with gold spider webs that are metallic and just going all the way around it. It's really pretty. But we've got a sleeveless mermaid gown yet again. For the nine millionth billionth time, this year alone. So I think if it was more of maybe a suit or a ball gown, you know, like giving Sweet 1600 suit, but with this fabric or a bigger gown like Miss Vampire Heart Chucky Laura, it would be better. Um, and then we've got a slit over here on the left that goes down into just some black mesh fabric -y stuff. A uh, tool, maybe? It's okay. <laughs> I, that's what I, I mean, I kind of like her. I think she's really pretty. I think she's pretty. I don't, I don't know. Those are just like my little critiques. Uh, now let's take a look at her shoes. Her shoes are not my favorite, but they do very much remind me of Skull Shores. Um, so here are her shoes. They are translucent purple. Um, there's no, oh, there is glitter in it. Okay, there's a very faint glitter. And we've got a painted golden moon. They're fine. They're okay. Uh, they're a very different purple from all the rest of the purples. I kind of would have liked to seen it, like I said, maybe black or darker purple. But that's kind of it. Um, I'm going to put her on a good doll stand and not like the gross, foul, disgusting, horrible evil no good very bad um like actually bane of my existence doll stand i would pay extra for a regular black monster head doll stand like i would pay extra please 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 <laughs> so this doll stands from amazon it works on every doll it's awesome <laughs> they're lifesavers so yeah that is miss howl a day claudine wolf 
So make sure you subscribe, follow me on all my other social medias, and check out my whatnot link for $15 off your first purchase and at the end of my videos. You guys know I like to rank the doll on a scale of 1 to 10. Here's the tea, I like her. And she's on sale for like a really good price right now. Like, not gonna lie. Um, I think it's like 10 or more so dollars off than what the original price is. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. I think she's pretty. I think she's pretty. Um, my holiday Draculaura is way too far away for me to get her. But pretend. Okay, like pretend she's like right here. Like she's all the way on the tippy top shelf. I can't reach. <laughs> I can't reach her. So just pretend. So for me, this Claudine is honestly, I'm taking points off for the doll stand. Okay. Um, she's like an 8 out of 10. I think she's fine. <laughs> I think y'all are being a little dramatic. I think she's pretty. She's really pretty. And she looks good, like, as a statement piece. She's gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe I'll add a little poof under here, though, to give it a more uh, look, you know? So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!